Hey there, I am back. Um, I'm not sick anymore. I'm done with all of the NDA projects and I am finishing up all this wall mounted stuff. Um, the first layer just went on actually. Um, I mean, I guess I could have gotten away with that little lie, but the reality is that I'm almost ready to do the second coat on this. Um, you can see, yes, ready for second coat. Um, it's like a little bit sticky, but it's not coming up. Perfect. So the next coat should, should stick onto it just right. But anyway, this is the epoxy coat. I've been waiting to, to use it and I'm tinting it black with, um, with this Uvo super strong, uh, tint. And, um, yeah, and I think I've mentioned all this before, but I'm tinting it black so that if anything should happen to it um, as time goes by, like if it was to get a chip, instead of revealing something bright colored that would stand out, it will be black underneath, which hopefully will hide things really well, even though the person that I'm making this for um, I know personally enough that if something was to go wrong, it would be easy for me to like just go to where it's gonna live and fix it. But um, but but that's great in general, I find, because you know, no matter what finish you put on stuff, paint chips and things happen. So it'll be nice that that'll stay hidden. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah. So um, I did. You can, you can see how you can still see the silicone through this first little layer. I'm trying to go super, super light and then use the heat gun to heat it up and pop the bubbles. And yes, I am wearing a respirator when I do that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it makes it so that there's no air bubbles and it's great. I'm gonna do a couple layers of this and then I'm going to use the, uh, the freeform, uh, which is kind of like a two-part epoxy dough um, and they claim that it's sculptable but it's not really I mean I don't find it to be anyway it would be a nightmare to actually create anything artistic with it but for mold making and stuff like that it works really well um, and uh, what else yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that um, to give it some thickness because this stuff on its own is fairly brittle um, and then I'll do a final layer of, oh, well, that's not all. Um, okay, when I do the thick layer of the, um, of the dough type stuff, I'm also going to put in the hanging hardware at that point and let it cure around this. And I'm hoping that, like, you know, I'll scuff this up a bit so it, like, you know, the, I guess threading should be all the tooth that's really needed, but hopefully it'll make a really good um, lock around it. Um, and I guess, you know, I could drill into it and, you know, and just put them in after the fact, but I, I don't know. I like the idea of the cleanliness of it just being in there and then curing around it. Um, and yeah, for these little hands, um, since they're so tiny, I'm planning on using these little guys, um, and that should keep them nice and flush. And then the big pieces are a little bit more confusing, like, at least in my mind. I'm trying to wrap my brain around the best way to make it so that they'll really hang flush to the wall and, um, and not hang forward at all. So I'm planning to to put these rings in, but not put them all the way back here, but put them a little bit more inset and hang a, uh, hang a wire. And, um, and that way, hopefully when I hang it, um, the, the pressure will be bringing it back as it sags down. Um, I mean, of course, the scariest part about that is trying to figure out how to actually get the wire that I'll put to you know, to, to get that on to whatever is going to be sticking out of the wall, the nail or, or who knows what. Um, but, uh, but I'll figure out something. It, it'll be great. And if this doesn't work, I can always screw something in after the fact and make something that does. Um, yeah, I mean, I could even like make a, make a lip at the top and then put more of these things on that lip. Um, 
and just trust that, who, you know, that's actually not a bad idea. Who knows what I'll, I'll actually end up doing though. Um, but yeah, for now, just to keep things manageable, I'm doing these pieces all at the same time. And then after that, um, I'll either do these separately or I'll do them all at once. We'll see how confident I'm feeling. Um, but I, yeah, like, it would be nice to do everything very quickly, but then on the other hand, the more material I mix up, um, the you know, and the more area I have to cover, the longer it'll take, which, you know, means a higher possibility that the material will start to cure on me before I'm done painting it on. Um, so we'll see. But um, what else? Yeah, um, I'm brushing it on. Oh, and a fun thing, because these little fingers, and I guess this is the only part of the process that I'll have to deal with this, but the fingers get so um, so tiny and deep that the one inch chip brushes that I'm using are just too big. Um, and so I thought this was kind of ridiculous, but I, I used scissors, come on, focus. Okay, um, I used scissors to cut off most of this. And then I put a zip tie around what was left and I put super glue on the zip tie and come on, there's, no, here, maybe if I, okay, now it's going to focus. Um, and it's, it's on there pretty good. Like it's, yeah, I mean, hopefully I'm not getting super glue on my finger right now, but, um, yeah, that's not going anywhere. So that should be like a nice little disposable, finer paintbrush. Um, yeah, I got super glue on myself. That's fine. Not the first time. Um, but yeah, so that is what is going on at the moment and once all of this is done then it'll be time for you know painting it and doing a test hang to make sure that it all does um you know mount flush to a wall and yeah then after that it'll be on to on to the next project whatever that might be um so so yeah i hope you've all been doing really well and i will have more updates very quickly because I expect this whole um, this whole casting process to be really quick. Um, just a yeah a few days and I should have everything all ready. Um, and yeah, you'll definitely be the first ones that I show. All right.